How's it going everyone? Weston here with Go Westy, and today we're going to go over the SDL Rebuild Bundle. If your sliding door pops open when you close it too hard or too soft, or in general is hard to get it to close on the first go around, this kit is going to help. First, make sure the issue isn't an alignment problem. To do this, make sure all the lines line up from the sliding door and the body panels. Also check the gaps at the front and the rear of the door. They should be similar in size. Second, make sure the door striker pin is tight. If everything is aligned properly and the striker pin is tight, proceed with the install. We start by removing the sliding door panel. This is done by removing the inner front handle, then remove either of the screws located at the back of the panel. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, it depends. Usually there's one down low. I like to use a flathead screwdriver to pop up one of the corners. Then I go around the perimeter of the panel with my hand, releasing the rest of the clips. With the panel off and out of the way, locate the door actuating rod. This is held on with a sir clip. A lot of times a pick or a flat blade screwdriver is required to remove it. Make sure to save this for reinstallation. With the rod off, move to the outside of the vehicle. A lot of times you can use a P4 socket and a ratchet to remove these bolts. Sometimes these bolts are seized on there though and you need to use an impact driver to remove them. In order to get an impact driver to fit in such a tight space, you'll need to remove the sliding door. Start doing this by removing the sliding door rail cover. Once the cover is off, take note of this little notch. This little notch will allow you to align the roller bearing and remove the sliding door without messing with the adjustment. Use a bucket to lay the sliding door on. With the door out of the way, you have more room to use with an impact driver or a long Phillips head screwdriver. It's important to use a P4 bit or a P3 bit. Once the two sliding door latch bolts have been removed, you'll notice there's another retaining clip holding the other end of the actuating rod onto the sliding door latch. Remove this retaining clip and pull the latch off. With the sliding door latch off of the van, put it in a vise and drill out the latch posts. Start with a 3 8 inch drill bit and slowly enlarge the holes until the posts drop out. Use some degreaser to clean up the sliding door latch housing. Start by holding one of the provided bolts on the back side of the latch. Then place one of the catch pieces over and then lastly the post. Follow this up by threading on one of the retaining clips until it is tight. With the new latch piece firmly in place, install a thicker diameter spring. Then install the lower latch the same as you did the upper, making sure this notch contacts this section. With both retaining clips installed tight, make sure the new latch clicks twice. Lube up the latch with some heavy duty grease such as HHS Plus. Then reinstall the retaining clip previously removed at the back of the sliding door. Begin threading bolts simultaneously, threading each bolt one to two turns at a time until tight. It's important to note not to thread either bolt faster than the other as it may strip the threads or prevent the latch from mounting flush to the door. With the sliding door latch reinstalled, reinstall the door onto the sliding door track. If the sliding door is adjusted properly, make sure that the newly installed latch is functioning as it should. Finally, reinstall the sliding door roller cover, sliding door panel, and interior sliding door handle. And that's it, we're done! Thank you everyone for following along, and we'll catch you on the next one.